Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got three things to show you. Uh, one is paper craft related, one is crafty, and one is just very different, but I think some of you still like to have a little nose and I just wanted to share it and thank the people that sent that to me. So first up, I have this stunning pin board. Now this is from my friend Kat, who works at Trimcraft. She has an Etsy shop and she has a really good Facebook page as well. I'll send all the link, I'll share all the links below. She put, hello Sam, thank you so much. Enjoy your new pin board. Love and Merry Christmas. Christmas cat and um, she's just got a nice little card there she's also got these she designs I believe she designs all of this she's got stickers pin badges she does really just fun colorful artworks which I really love and um, yeah I just think it's, it's fun so beautifully packaged that's one of the nice things I think when you buy independent especially from you know people on Etsy there's just that little attention to detail is just so nice so this is my pin board here and it's got a nice little hook there to hang it but I have loads of pins I'm literally loads over the years I've got some here um, some are really old I thought I'd show you this one here which is a Pritt stick and I got this when I was a little girl so even back then you can see I was into sticking and gluing and um, sticking and gluing yeah sticking and gluing oh, anyway so <laughs> I wanted these have just been they rattle around in boxes in the bottom of my jewelry boxes and just kind of don't really get appreciated I guess and I'm I've seen these for a while but then she put this one up not too long ago and I was like I need it I want it so I'm going to be putting these on there so I've got that one I have quite a few of these um which are the crafter of the month pin badges that you get through trim craft and again look, it just pins in there perfectly i've got this one here which is from canada when i visited when i was 18 so again it's very old um it's really nice so again i can just take the back off i'll put these in a separate little thing but and you just fill them up and then hang it and it looks nice in my craft room and also you remember to if you want to wear them so you know they're there right in front of you what other one have i got here this is an old one this is when, um, look, it even says home video. That's when I got the Aladdin video. So when was Aladdin first out? Um, and it's got on here, Walt Disney Company. And does it say, actually, there is a date. No, I can't make that out. But again, they're just little memories from my childhood and stuff. And you can imagine, once you've filled this up, it looks really, really nice. What other one? This is another old one. I remember wearing that. With my name again very young I was at least well 10 something like that and I've just wanted to this one here is actually a little badge so I'm just gonna undo that piece and just pin it in that way there we go what other one have I got here this one here's a poppy I've got quite a lot of poppy ones actually this is the this is 2016 so again I can pop that one there I've got one here another one from Canada when I visited again when I was 18 so I kind of pop those together there so I've got loads, I need to sort through them all, I've got another crafter of the month there, pop that one down there. So I think once I've filled this cat, I'll probably get another one from you, a different one. I think they're going to look really nice on the wall, like kind of like, you know, spaced out. And I've got a nice little sticker there as well, which I'll put on something. You can see it there with the holographic trim around it. So, so that was my little gift to myself, I'll pop that to one side. Then I've got the newest Paper Craft Society kit, but I'm not gonna do an unboxing in this one. You'll see that in the separate unboxing video. I think this will go up after that. So I will point up here, say click that if you wanna see inside. But this one has been designed by Olga. Let me just check inside. So it's Paper Discovery one. Um, that's what I was looking for the booklet but it's inside there but again I don't want to go into that in too much detail because I always do an in-depth unboxing which I will um, share with you very very soon but yeah that's the newest one and then lastly this was the one that isn't craft related but I wanted to share this one because this was completely unexpected it came through my door and um, this is from craft stash so I'm on the design team for craft stash and I just thought this is just such a lovely thing. I just, like I said, completely unexpected. It's a haze hamper and inside it's a beautiful box. It really is all magnetic, absolutely stunning. So I just thought some of you might want to have a little nose inside. And I just think it's really nice to give shout outs to companies that are really good. They are, I know many of you love Craft Stash. They're customer service. They look after you. I mean, I, well, I'm just blown away with the last few months with Craft Stash. It's, it's been so much fun. So in here, I have got, this is Baked With Love. So I've got a nice little Hessian bag there. And in this is some biscotti, 
Ooh, chocolate chip. Mm -mm -mm. Bang goes the diet. And then <laughs> we've got these here. So these are cranberry cookies. Muesli and cranberry. Delicious cookies. Again, stuff like this with a cup of tea. I just, they won't won't have a, you know, a long shelf life in this house, that's for sure. I will be, um, yeah, they'll be eating quickly. Let's have a look. Right, this one here is some vanilla fudge. Homemade and delicious. Let's have a little look. Mm, I love fudge. We, um, living down in the southwest, we've got so many nice fudge shops. And um, you walk past and the smell. And also if you see them tipping it all out and they kind of mix it and shape it in the window... It's like the best marketing strategy to get people into the shop to buy because it always works with me. I absolutely love the stuff. So that was really nice. Then we've got Christmas cake. Oh, Christmas cake, Christmas pudding. Um, yeah, Christmas pudding. I am all over. I love it with a nice thick piece of cheddar, like a real strong cheddar cheese. Christmas Day evening mm, or Boxing Day with a good movie. Oh, oh can't wait. So this is going to keep me going because I've already got a Christmas cake, but this one is another lovely one. So this is a rich fruit cake slab. How delicious. Again, I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that they sent this. This is just marvellous. So then this one here, I've got some tea. So this is the Island of Tea, Keelong Tea, packed in Sri Lanka. So that would be nice. I love tea. I'm a huge tea drinker. Then these ones here, all butter, Scottish shortbread. I don't know anybody who doesn't like shortbread. Now you're probably all going to comment and say, I hate shortbread, Sam. But you, you can't. Oh, I just love shortbread. Again, nice cup of tea. Oh, can't wait till January. My birthday's in January, so it's always a bit... My birthday's always nice, and we always go away with my friends. So it's like something that everyone has to look forward to after Christmas. But it's just always so miserable. <laughs> January is just dull so um yeah all those Capricorns out there feel your pain because you know it's either Christmas in December you know Christmas time which is obviously December and we've got my mum and my sister who have birthdays two days after Christmas back to back um so we try and you know it's not it can't be helped sometimes but you don't want to forget them but it can be so overwhelmed by Christmas and then mine's in January so anyway then we've got Artisan Sweet Cracknels. Now I've had these before, but I don't know if I realised they were called that cracknel. And uh, these look delicious. They've got like the, um, you know, the hard sugar. What's that called? It looks really nice. I'm not going to open it yet because then I'll have to put them in an airtight container. So I'm just going to leave them for now. But these are from Holland. Yeah, they're made in the Netherlands. Oh, I can't wait. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly share that because it is craft related in a sense because it's part of my, you know, being on the design team for Craft Stash. But um, yeah, this is just, just really, really nice. And again, a huge thank you Craft Stash because you are just so kind. So thank you for uh, filling my stomach this Christmas. <laughs> it's going to be, um, yeah. Greatly appreciated. So I'm just going to pop that one on top. I keep all this as well. This is going to be great in my own hampers when I give them to people. So that will all get reused. The box is perfect storage. So I'll probably, um, I don't know, I think I might cover it. Like put something decorative on the top there. Um, but it's great because it is. It's got that real nice snap, snap closure. Love it. So yeah, I thought I'd share it. Go. just literally those three things I just thought I would do this so it doesn't build up and I wanted to kind of share this before Christmas because it's you know it's a hamper and um, and this one here I just thought I would yeah add them in so they don't build up but I will be back in the new year well no I'll probably do one actually between new year and um, between Christmas and new year because um, I'm well if Santa's been nice and got me the things that I put on my Christmas list and there's gonna be lots of crafty things to share with you so I will do something then and uh, yeah until then have a great Christmas and I will be back again soon bye